Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Massey and welcome to my YouTube channel, Massey Styles. Today, I'm gonna show you women out there how to wear one skirt, three different ways, casual, semi-casual, and dressy. And then for the skincare portion of today's video, we're gonna talk about cryotherapy for your eyes and all of the great benefits that come along with it. But first and foremost, this is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna highlight what I'm wearing. These knee-high faux leather snake emboss boots are by Steve Madden. I really, really love the teal color, so I just had to get them. This skirt, is by Love Shack Fancy. I purchased it on Moto Operandi. And this ultra comfy, really cute sweatshirt is by Rich and Sporty. <laughs> I really love the humor and the brand name. I got it in one size up so that it has a nice baggy feel and then I style it a little bit high on one side and then I drape it low on the other side so I can help kind of define my waistline a little bit without tucking it in. So that wraps up my outfit of the day. Let's get into outfits for your day. This is a classic midi skirt by Cotton Citizen. A midi skirt is where it hits at the smallest part of your waist and it falls all the way down to your ankles, so it's gonna hug all of your amazing, fabulous curves. This is a classic midi skirt and I'm gonna show you how to wear it three different ways for casual, semi-casual, and dressy. Now starting with this vintage upcycled shirt by Topshop, I really love all the sparkly detail on top. So I would put these two together and then to define your waistline, I would do what I call a sloppy tuck. So you would tuck in just one side of the shirt and leave the other half hanging out. For the boots, these boots go with all three outfits that I'm talking about today. These boots are by Zimmerman and it's like having jewelry around your ankle. I really love that detail. It's like a half moon shape. Really, really love that together. And in terms of a purse, I would put together this Betsy Johnson printed, it's like a tattoo type of purse. And I like mixing prints, of course. So that's why I wanna put the two together. I wanna really bring out the boldness of these two prints. Now, moving on to a semi-casual outfit for this midi skirt, we're gonna do a feathered crop top top. Yep, crop top top, we love that. Me, feathers, no, never, never have feathers. Always have feathers. So this is gonna show a little bit of your midriff. It's just a really fun, fluffy way to like express yourself and have something that's like a really big conversation starter. And then to add a little bit of edginess, I wanna bring in this 90s inspired plaid top to drape over the feather top and add to the skirt. I think it's really unique and different. Like I feel like people wouldn't put plaid and feathers together, but that's why I'm here, to show you things you normally wouldn't put together and let you know that they work. So definitely be adventurous, be daring, don't be afraid to mix and match things that are counterintuitive, because it's like, let's just have fun with fashion. Let's just make it really cool, make it really different, add it with these boots, add the Betsy Johnson tattooed purse with it, just really amp up the boldness of this unexpected outfit. In terms of accessories, what I would do is I would do hoops. You can't really go wrong with hoops at the end of the day, but I would do gold hoops with it and a choker would be really nice to wear. And then small, very thin rings on each finger would be a nice way to complete this outfit's thought. Now for a dressy occasion, snake print. This top is by Topshop and it's a crop top with a snake print, as I mentioned. So you're gonna have a little bit of your midriff showing, but not as much as the feather top. And this is just ultra, ultra sexy put together. I would add a Calvin Klein leather jacket over it so that you have a nice combination of the three items together, as well as the boots. I do like that the boots and the top are not perfectly matched in their color because again, we're not about being matchy patchy at the end of the day. You want your outfit to flow. So having these two colors together is totally okay. Just go for it. 
Now, since this is a snake print top, the reason that I chose this Zach Posen purse is because it's embossed with a snake print. So you're really driving home the fact that you like faux snake. Why not? No snakes were hurt in the making of this outfit and snakes have a really fabulous print. So let's just wear them all the time. <laughs> all right, guys, this wraps up how to wear one classic midi skirt three different ways, casual, semi-casual, and dressy, and how amazing these versatile Zimmerman boots are with all three of these outfits. And talk about your eyes. I wanna talk about eye care. It's really important to treat the skin underneath your eyes because it's thinner than the rest of the skin found on your face, and it's really, that's the first part of your face that starts to age. So we wanna keep you looking young, bright, youthful, awake, alert, all of the things and using cryotherapy for your eyes will help you achieve just that. I came across this product by Jenny Patkin. I purchased it on Sephora and there's a lot of cryotherapy out there, but these are hand blown globes. So they're contoured to the shape of your face. Let me show you what they look like. They come in a really great padded box so that they stay super safe. I keep them in my fridge. As soon as I'm done using them, I just, I put them back. It doesn't take very long for them to cool down to their ideal temperature. So they don't need to be in there for hours at a time, but it's just a good storage place so that they're ready to be used every single morning. So you can see the contoured shape of these globes. So when you, I get puffy eyes personally. I mean, I can sleep literally like a mummy. It doesn't matter. My eyes underneath are gonna get puffy. And so these contour to your face. And then what I like to do is spray a toner so that I have a little bit of dewiness on my face because you want the globes to glide over your skin. If they start to tug, that's not gonna be very beneficial. So in the morning, I mist a toner onto my face and then I glide the globes across my under eye area, around like my cheeks, always in an upward motion. If my eyelids are really puffy, I just like put them over my eyes and close my eyes for a couple seconds. It feels really good. It's really refreshing. And as soon as I take them off, the puffiness is gone. Like I haven't seen a product work quicker and have more lasting results than these eye globes. Some of the benefits are it targets redness, puffiness, like I mentioned, but it also helps with blood circulation. So it lifts your face, it wakes your face up in the morning. It's really good for people that have any like aches and pains, or if you get a bug bite or a sunburn, this can really soothe those irritation areas for when that happens. So I highly recommend these cryo globe globes if you have puffiness, if you wanna just wake up, feel a little bit more refreshed in the morning, this is a product that I recommend. You can purchase it on Sephora. I will leave all of that information and all of the links in the description of this video so it's easier for you to find. Thank you as always for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed how I put together three different outfits with the Cotton Citizen midi skirt. And let me know if you end up trying out these cryo globes. They really work for me and I hope they work for you too. Comment below, tell me what you think. I can't wait to see you guys next time.